The next case deals with a common problem for older ships. When at anchor, fully loaded and ready for discharging at an oil terminal, signs of oil were seen coming up to the surface of the harbour water from the bottom of the ship, causing a very minor oil slick. The local national administration requested the source of the leak to be found and a diver was called for. He reported one minor hole in the bottom plating of the oil tanker, indicating a cargo tank as being the source of the leak. The hole was temporarily plugged and the vessel resumed preparations for the discharging of her cargo. After the cargo had been discharged, the tank was inspected and numerous pitting was found in the bottom plating. The probable cause may be illustrated as follows. The tank where the leakage occurred was intended for the carriage of both cargo oil and water ballast. In cargo tanks in general, and combined tanks in particular, pitting corrosion of the bottom structure may become a problem if not dealt with. The cleaning operation performed between cargo and ballast modes may consist of crude oil washing of the tank or salt water washing before loading the ballast. The combination of crude oil and water ballast makes tanks suffer from corrosion to a much greater degree than pure cargo tanks because the washing medium removes the protective oil film from the steel surface. Where salt water washing is routinely done, this destroys the protective film and washes away loose scale, thus exposing fresh steel and allowing renewed corrosion to take place. Furthermore, it leaves puddles of water on the bottom of the tanks and horizontal surfaces, causing pitting corrosion to occur beneath sediments. Several examples exist where sediments on bottom plating in cargo tanks have not been removed, resulting in heavy pitting attacks after only two to three years. The lessons to be learned from this are Pitting corrosion is most likely to occur in older oil tankers that are not required to have segregated ballast tanks. Sediments are to be frequently removed from the bottom of cargo and combined cargo ballast tanks. Otherwise, local corrosion of up to 3 mm per year may result. Crude oil washing is a more efficient method for removing sediments and anodes fitted on the bottom longitudinals and close to the bottom plating may considerably reduce the rate of pitting.